for one week straight, we ran one mile a day to see how it would change our body and how difficult it would be. We have a few questions. Since last year, how much has our cardio improved? How much body fat and how many pounds are we going to lose? And is this something that can be done by the average person on a daily basis to progress throughout their fitness journey? But first, here are the rules. You can't run half a mile in the morning and half a mile at night because that sort of defeats the purpose. It should all be within the same half an hour to an hour time frame. We could do it outside. We could do it on the treadmill. We could do it on a curved treadmill. Doesn't matter how you do it. You got to get that mile done. So now we're going to check in for the halfway point. I'm going to shoot it to you, Sam. All right. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate it. So we're here halfway point. Now we can make some inferences about the amount of energy consumed before our workouts and the energy consumed after our workouts. So yes, it is easier to do it beforehand. And the curved treadmill is the most difficult thing to run on because you're using more of your calves. You're using more of your leg muscles in a forceful way. Running outside has to be the best method. It's the most scenery. Your mind is being taken off of running and you're not thinking about running. We're on a treadmill. You're kind of just like, oh. I prefer to run outside. That's the pattern that I noticed. We're not done yet. We still have half a week to go. So we're going to take it to Samanadu at the end of this challenge. Take it away, fellas. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sam. So let's start off with the pros. After these seven days, we feel so much better about ourselves. Health-wise, you know, we feel great throughout the entire day. Cardio-wise and endurance-wise, we feel every single mile becoming quicker. We feel healthier. We're breathing better. A discipline factor, you know, we're forcing ourselves to do something every single day that we don't want to do. And every single time we ran these miles, it was in the morning. So it just kicks our day off very strongly, propels us in the right direction every single day. Sam, take over the cons. All right, guys. So I'm going to tell you guys some of the cons. Number one was you get muscle cramps. If you haven't done cardio before doing a mile a day and it's been a while, you start doing the cardio again and you start to get muscle cramps in your quads, in your hamstrings, in your calf, wherever it is. The way to combat it is to just stretch out. The next con is that you have less energy for weightlifting. If you're doing that mile before your weightlifting session, obviously you're a little more out of breath. You're a tad bit more exhausted. You have to lug through your weightlifting session. And finally, the thing that we both agreed on was that we don't like to delegate time to running because we don't like running. That mile was kind of a nuisance to fit into our weightlifting and calisthenics sessions, but we did it anyways. And those are all the cons. So here real quick are before and afters. Here's Adrian's before and after. There you go. <laughs> and here's my before and after. Adu, care to wrap it up? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> this was a great video to make because it was a reality check for both of us. We don't really focus on cardio. Doing that first mile on the first day was really a killer. But as the days progressed, we felt a lot better. Those miles became a lot easier. Fellas, ladies, whoever's watching, thank you very much. BTB, 100 reps. Peace out.